everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most difficult songs to sing. For this list, we're ranking the tunes that are simply beyond the reach of mere mortals. Epic vocal performances that require a truly strong, practiced, and capable singer to hit all the right notes. We're saving rap songs for another day, but we want to know, what are some of your favorites? Let us know in the comments. All right, let's get into it. Number 20, Don't Stop Believin', Journey. Just a small town girl, living in a lonely world. We're kicking off our list with a little friendly advice. Do not try to sing Journey's Don't Stop Believin' at your next karaoke party. Oh, sure, it may sound like a great idea at the time, and everyone thinks they're gonna be able to nail this absolute rock anthem with Steve Perry's grace and power, but it rarely, if ever, works out. That's not only because Perry is one of classic rock's finest singers, but also because the performance hinges so strongly on his combination of clarity, power, and range. Don't Stop Believin' may start off slowly with that iconic keyboard intro, but by the time the chorus finally hits, we are firmly on that spaceship into infinity. Number 19, Hello, Adele. Hello, it's me. Speaking of power, is there any popular female vocalist in recent memory that can compete with Adele in terms of sheer vocal strength? Not many. There's a reason the English singer-songwriter's music has sold millions of albums, and it's not because they're easy to sing. Though it's sure fun to try. Hello from the other side. Fans really seem to connect with her lyrics, honesty, and passion and it's the delivery that really brings it all together. Hello is a perfect example. It's the sort of heart-rending ballad that fans adore. It isn't so much the brooding intensity of the verse that makes Hello challenging, but rather the vocal control required to nail that epic chorus. There's just no one who does it quite like Adele. Number 18, Take On Me, Aha. Uh -huh. Falsetto. Love it or hate it, many artists and groups have taken the vocal style and run with it all the way to chart success. Aha uh -huh was one of those bands, a Norwegian export that struck it huge in the 80s with their colossal synth-pop hit Take On Me. For our money, we love Morton Harkett's falsetto note that he hits near the end of Take On Me's epic chorus, and it's even more impressive when you take into account that Harkett has to climb two and a half octaves from his starting point of A. these vocal gymnastics that make Take On Me such a challenge for even the most seasoned of vocalists. Number 17, I'll Never Let You Go, Steelheart. The world of glam metal has historically been one of powerful and dynamic singers. Even so, there are few who can compete with the likes of Steelheart's Milenko Matievich who absolutely dominates on the band's highest charting single, I'll Never Let You Go. Again, this is a song that starts innocuously enough. Matievich begins with a clear mid-range verse before shooting for the stars with a crazy high note. Oh, and it only gets more stratospheric from there, as the Croatian-born singer seems to almost taunt us with how high he can actually go. Seriously, there's high, and then there's steelheart levels of high. The levels perfected on songs like this one, or she's gone.
Number 16, I Believe in a Thing Called Love, The Darkness. The spirit of classic Thin Lizzy lived on within the classic rock style of England's The Darkness. Although, the falsetto singing style of the Darkness frontman Justin Hawkins was probably the furthest thing from Phil Linnett's bluesy howl. Touching you, touching me. I Believe in a Thing Called Love was the Darkness's biggest international hit, and it quickly became infamous for Hawkins' trouser pinching vocal approach. Not everyone can pull off an ultra-high falsetto with the sort of conviction Hawkins musters throughout the twin guitar epic, but Justin nails it with style and sleaze to spare. Number 15, Chandelier, Sia. We have two words to describe Chandelier. That chorus. It's difficult to explain just how much emotion and pathos Sia packs into her performance. She pairs a comparatively subdued verse with an explosion of passion and cathartic anger. Sometimes, a singer just possesses this nebulous quality, an ability to connect with an audience with how they sing a song, not just the mechanics of how a song is composed. Sia is an artist who not only possesses the knowledge and skill to get her vocal performance across, but also the ability to make that performance unique and incredibly difficult to replicate. Number 14, Sherry, Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. We mentioned falsettos earlier in our list, and there are few male vocalists who mastered this style better than Frankie Valli, the lead singer of the Four Seasons. Valli made himself a legend off his ability to control his falsetto, arguably better than any other male performer of his era showcasing the sort of control that verges on supernatural. I'm gonna make you my Falsetto by nature can sound fragile and thin, but Valley sounds large and in charge throughout his performance in Sherry, which is no mean feat. There's a reason why they're called classics after all, and the Four Seasons definitely created one of those when they recorded this gem back in 1962. Number 13, Total Eclipse of the Heart, Bonnie Tyler. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you're never coming around. You just don't make them like this anymore. We're talking about the pompous, in the best possible way, extravagant and over-the-top operettas of Meatloaf collaborator and songwriter Jim Steinman. And I need you now tonight. And I need you more. The songs about muscular men and wild women, the sort of ferocity encapsulated by Bonnie Tyler, and her amazing performance on Total Eclipse of the Heart. It's gothic, sumptuous, and decadent power balladry at its best, amplified by Tyler's gruff and breathy delivery. Seriously, when the near seven minute album version reaches its vocal crescendo, we're right there with Bonnie on the mountaintop, shielding our eyes from the eclipse as her vocals block out the sun in an epic show of power. Number 12, Earth Song, Michael Jackson. What about sunrise? What about rain? Okay, so we all know about Michael Jackson's pedigree for classic music videos, but we admit that sometimes the singer's actual talent can get lost among all the visual spectacle. Not so with Earth Song, a track meant for the King of Pop's Dangerous album, but which didn't get released until the 1995 album History, Past, Present, and Future, Book One. Uh -oh. The song is a real showcase for Jackson's ability to meld and cross-pollinate genres, from operatic highs to gospel choral lows. 
Michael's legendary soul and power also make their presence known, of course, making this something of a forgotten classic from this iconic talent. Number 11, The Star-Spangled Banner. Lyrics, Francis Scott Key, and music, John Stafford Smith. It's been the honor and bane of many a singer's existence. Performing the Star-Spangled Banner. The national anthem of the United States is infamously difficult to sing, even for the most accomplished performer. Because of how much control it takes to navigate its range of key changes, the key is to start low and to conserve energy, saving a big burst of power for the anthem's climax. This is easier said than done, of course, with many great singers tripping up at either the performance side of things or something as simple as remembering the lyrics. We're not going to fault anyone for failing at the Star Spangled Banner, though, because it's a massive challenge. And the home of the agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.